Hey, this is Al Scatter Shooting. Today we got the Yaesu FT-70D. Really nice little radio. Well, I'm gonna show you how to connect it up to your PC so that you can program your repeaters and things like that in, 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 a, in a much faster way than if you use the keypad down here. Uh, you can get that information from other YouTube videos, yes. Uh, I did it myself. If you're looking for hours to get this little tidbit, I'm gonna try to keep this video less than five minutes. Just give you the information that you need. First thing we gotta do is remove the battery. So look underneath, there's a little a button right here, push that, you'll see the battery pop up. Grab the battery, set it aside. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the power and uh, we're gonna lift the side here. That's cover, rubber little cover here you see on the side. And you'll see two ports, power and a USB connector. We're gonna use both ports today. Right now we're gonna use the power. Take the power, plug it into the power port. When you do that, you're gonna see it say external DC because of course it's connected to the external connector here, external power. Now go ahead and turn it on, okay? So it's on, it's gonna come alive. And I, I make a point of that because here's where people get lost because you turn it on, leave it on and remove the power. It seems kind of odd, but you need it in that mode for what's about to happen. So technically the radio is still on, right? It's just not powered. Uh, take the USB cable and plug it in. Don't worry, there's only one way it goes. It goes into the USB connector. It's got a funny shape to it. You can't get it wrong. So once that cable's in there, go ahead and put the power back in there. But when we do this, hold the AMS button, which is on the lower left right here. Okay, we're gonna push that in as we put the power in. Hear that ringtone? That ringtone tells us that we're in ADMS mode. You'll see the ADMS show up right on top here. And that means that we're ready to transmit to the, uh, to the PC. So I've got the software right here, downloaded from Yezu, yeah, install it on your computer. And when it comes up, again, it'll show you this 145 frequency. <coughs> Very same frequency. If you looked at your radio, you would have seen that it's, it, it's the default on the radio. But really what we're looking for is right up here on the upper left. You'll see where it says File, Edit, and Communication. See that there? All we need is communication. If you click on that, you'll see where it says Get Data, Send Data, and Com Port Settings. Com Ports you would use, I've not had to use it once. That's where if you have a, a, an issue with uh, connecting up to your, phone, your radio, uh, I have it. So go right to the top here. Right now, uh, we're not gonna send any data to the radio. I'm gonna get data from the FT-70. Uh, click on that, you'll see a pop-up and it'll say, uh, all this you've already done, just gotta get to number seven. That's the only part we gotta do. And click okay, and on the radio, you're gonna see the band button on the top right. You just click that right there. Changes to transmit, you're gonna see on the PC where it starts to scan across, it's sending all that data up. And if you look on the radio, you're gonna see a comp. It means completed on the radio. So the radio up says, it's saying I finished with that. And then of course on the PC as well, it's saying, okay, it's completed there too, hit okay. And look at all those frequencies now in there, right? So all that information, I, you can put in there very quickly. It's just like filling out a spreadsheet, no big deal. When you're done, you've got it way you like it. You can come up here and hit communications. And now instead of uh, getting data, of course you would send data to the FT-70. Back to your radio is what you're doing. Same thing, just click it and uh, it'll say hit, uh, I think at that point you hit the AMS button to get it back on the radio. Uh, but anyway, it, you just read the instructions at that point and you're good. Um, that's it. And so that's how you get your information. The only thing I recommend is when you put something off your radio onto the PC that you, you know, hit file save as and save it off as something so you have it for future reference in case you need it. And, and that's it. The real difficulty here was in the procedure to get connected up to the PC. Everything after that is pretty straightforward. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Al Scatter Shooting. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.